Welcome to this B1 printer delivery e-learning session on the email report actions SMTP setup. So here we are in Vipsos 1 on the report action email, which is where we use the SMTP. And it's all about the two boxes down here, the client delivery method and server delivery method. Many people for client delivery method use Outlook if they have Outlook installed on the machine. But uh, beyond that, uh, there's options for SMTP and Exchange. Exchange being Microsoft Exchange. And uh, people who don't uh, have Microsoft uh, stack can use SMTP for this. So SMTP is just a protocol. We have no special uh, affinity to it or anything. And uh, if you don't have anything here, that's because you haven't set anything up. It will look a little like my Exchange, which I haven't set anything up. And you go in here and you uh, set up your SMTP. And this is just the fields for an SMTP server. Uh, first up being the name, that's not a such part of the SMTP server, but just the name you see here. Then your SMTP might need authentication. So you check it off if it needs to. Mine doesn't in this case. Uh, TLS, if that is needed. Domain, if that is needed. Server port, port being if it, you just specify zero means it just takes the default. If you had authentication, you need to provide your credentials uh, in here with the username and password. And then you specify a from email. And from here, you should definitely test your configuration. So you simply just highlight it and say test selected SMTP. And I can write my credentials here and check out that I can actually send something and I got a test SMTP and you can see I did it a few minutes ago also. So that is definitely possible to set up and uh, uh, the only drawback of course of SMTP is primarily that you can't react to bounce emails. If a mail is wrong, if the eh, outbox doesn't exist anymore, that is what you can do with Outlook and Exchange. But um, that is entirely up to you and what, what you want to do. One special thing we have uh, in here is, of course, that you might want to say, I use Microsoft 365. Um, and Microsoft 365 also, of course, just uh, specify uh, the options to use, uh, to use SMTP. Just simply Google um, Office 365 uh, SMTP and you will get the credentials. Similar, if you use uh, Google, you can do that, but in most cases you will need to use what is called an app password instead. This is a fairly new thing uh, based on the recording of this, uh, but uh, it is just SMTP as always. So there's nothing special there. The only thing I will just highlight is that uh, if you use Office 365 and you do a sending just like I did here, you might notice that your email is a bit slow to get here. That is not something from uh, Boyom itself. It's uh, primarily because if you have uh, attachments, uh, Office 365 will run it to a scan, a uh, security scan of those uh, files, and that's the reason the, the thing is delayed. Uh, whenever we do a test mail like this where there's no attachment, it's almost instant. But if you don't see your email immediately. It's not because something might have gone wrong, uh, unless you got an error message in some way in the business one. It is mostly uh, that it's just uh, pending uh, via scan from, from Microsoft. The final thing I want to highlight in all this is the from email. So the from email is actually a field that you can uh, use the dynamic syntax and SQL colon, just like any other uh, system, uh, and write, uh, so you could, for example, have that the from mail is all dependent on who is logged into the system. As a, that's a normal setup. Uh, and it definitely works, but the drawback of it is that the test system won't work, and it will actually just come up and tell you, yeah, I can't do this because it can't know when you use the dynamic syntax, what, what it should turn this into. Uh, but if we do it like that, or we, and we could do more things and 
a very advanced things. It's just your imagination, whatever the SQL or the dynamic syntax are turned into, it will try to use it as from mail, and uh, that's the thing. But in our case, let's just keep it to a stick, a fixed one. And if we do it like this, we can set up SMTP here. So we use that instead of the system. Again, client delivery method is often Outlook, but in, uh, in this case, let's try to use SMTP. And in server delivery method, Outlook doesn't exist, of course, so SMTP is the way to go. But in our case, let's just quickly jump to a sales order and try to email it and see what happens. And if we go into my Outlook, in this case, antivirus scan was fast, so we or it's actually not, it's because uh, we use an internal SMTP, but it would have taken longer had we run uh, Office 365. But we get our email, and that has now been sent through uh, regular email. That's why I'm in my inbox and not my draft folder as I've been in the other e-learning sessions. The drawback, of course, of SMTP is also in the, or in the where I used my draft folder, I could actually send it out despite uh, me not having an email address. So for example, this one, we are set up to the document selected contact person, but we don't have a contact person. And if we do that with Outlook send us draft and send, we will be able to see inside Outlook here that the email is in my draft folder. And in my case, there's no to mail because we didn't uh, we didn't have one. But if we instead use the SMTP, we will actually see that we'll get an error message trying to send this one because SMTP is just direct. It uh, it doesn't give you any uh, chance to to modify it beforehand. So you will now see an error message from the system where it says, hey, we couldn't send from this email, but the error is that a recipient must be specified. And that makes a total sense. How would it ever send an email if it doesn't know what email to send it to? So that is the drawback of SMTP, while the other ones when we do drafts can actually end up without it and you can specify it if it was needed. So. That is everything there is to know about SMTP. Um, other than perhaps that if you have any problems with this, if you get some error misses from test SMTP, it's unfortunately not something Boeum itself can help with. It's often the SMTP provider you need to ask, why is this happening? What is the kind of restrictions that's been put on SMTP? Because SMTP is often restricted down to certain from email, certain uh, limitation, certain IP addresses, and so on. So if you ever get an SMTP error message, especially from this test button here, you should contact your SMTP provider and, and ask them, what does this error mean in our context? Uh, it won't really help uh, asking Boyan because we will essentially say the same thing, go to your SMTP partner, because SMTP is such a uh, low level format, we can't really do it wrong. Uh, in So it's either you, put something in correct here, or there is some limitation that prevents you from using it on the specific system. With that, I hope it was beneficial, and I hope you get to set up your SMTPs. See you in the next one.